I'm Daniel McCartan here at Boone Enterprise Autographs, Authentic Autographs here in Pompton Plains, New Jersey with New York Jets linebacker Darren Lee. Uh, he's doing this interview. I've, I've been told to keep it really short, so yeah. we'll keep it short. So first off, first of all, you're very interactive with your fans. I'm watching you here tonight, both here and on Twitter. How is that important for you to be with your fans like that? Uh, I know it means a lot, you know, to the fans. Um, and just to think, you know, being in this position, you know, I used to be in, you know, their position. I used to be a fan of, you know, my favorite football players and mm -hmm. whatnot. So uh, I know what it means to them. Um, and, uh, you know, the fans make us and they make the team, uh, you, know, you know, what it is, you know. And so you, you do a support, you know, also for the – for our teammates, but also for the fans, also. And um, how did you spend that? You know, you guys just coming off the bye week. Is the bye week more of a chance for you to just kind of get away from the game of football, or to be more self-reflective on the game of football, or kind of a combination of both? Uh, both. Um, and we were coming off a pretty difficult loss, um, mm -hmm. obviously with Buffalo. Right. Uh, so it was a good time to reflect, but at the same time, a good time to get away from the game. And in addition to that, you know, you know, to get healthy and to feel better. Uh, it's been a long season up until that point, so. Uh, it, it was good to, to have that time off, was the, the, that week off, and um, and just to get back. And I, you know, came back today. You know, pretty excited to get back to work. Everybody seems to say, uh, whenever the bye week is, that it comes at a good time. For the Jets, I think this was at a good time. Yeah, it was. I mean, ideally for me, I wish it was a little sooner. But uh, that's neither you know, here nor there. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, obviously, you know, the right time, and uh, you know, glad you know to see all the guys. And I was glad to get back to work today. And uh, you know, I know everybody else was happy to have some time off. And uh, just looking to finish these last six games uh, strong. Now, when I'm on WFAN on Thursday, I want to kind of open with what are each team thankful for this season? I want to get an inside perspective. What are the Jets thankful for this season? Uh, for us, you know, we're thankful for each other, thankful for the people that are supporting us, you know, through you know, the hard times and even the losses and, uh, you know, this fellowship that we have. Uh, we know everything right now is a process, and so uh, we're thankful for the trials and tribulations of that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Rome wasn't built in one day, so uh, we know that, you know, building what we want to build here isn't building one day. So, uh, you know, taking it day by day and taking the opportunity, we're thankful for the opportunity every day to go out and get better. Uh, that's something we're extremely you know, thankful as a team. I love the, the Rome reference. I'm an Italian teacher by day, okay. so yeah, I like nice. that. <laughs> I like that. Um, so being – I think it was your quote that said, being in Matt Stafford's head in week one to yeah. that to that Bills game, can you speak to the inconsistencies sort of on the team this year and how you trying to iron those out? Uh, you know, I think you'll have a lot of those, you know, dealing with a little bit young team it's hard to find that balance and find your, your rhythm mm -hmm. as a team um you know we've had stretches where you know we've looked like a really perennial good football team we've right. had days where we haven't you know like we you know remotely belong and so yeah. um you know those up and downs of this league is up and downs of, of, of a young team and we're a fairly young team and so um it was just it, it just comes with it yeah uh, it's just you know you see those flashes you see the flashes of what we can become and mm -hmm. you know consistency is a very hard thing in the nfl so um just I really think finding that way and finding, like I said, that rhythm is, right. is very difficult. Uh, but, you know, we'll hope to try to find something in these last six games. Now, I know you already said you weren't going to talk too much about the game plan, and we don't want to give the Patriots any sort of advantage. Yeah, yeah. But just quickly talking about uh, Rob Gronkowski, ESPN reported, will be playing on the game. So how does a game plan, how, just having him on the field, how does that sort of affect the game plan? It affects it as long as number as 12 is a quarterback. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we know what these guys are bringing to the table. Um, this is my third year, my third go around getting to play these guys. Yeah. So I already know what's about to happen. You know, we're going to try to be on our P's and Q's. Um, and, you know, just try to go out. We're just going to try out there and go out there and get a win. We're not going to sit there and lay down, regardless of who they are. Right. Um, any given Sunday, anything can happen. So we're definitely going to try to go out and get a W. That's why I play the game. Right. And Tom Brady, he hasn't, you know, to his standards, he's, I looked, he's not in the top five or so in any of really of the main categories as a quarterback. But that doesn't mean he's, you know, but how is the game plan going to be for you guys with Tom Brady on the field and, and playing him for the past three years? What have you learned from him? I learned a lot. Uh, it's a chess, not checkers, playing that guy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's really all that you can really possibly say is Tom Brady. Yeah. Uh, he's been doing this since I was, like, in the first or second grade. So, <laughs> um, you know, his, 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 his film, his resume speaks for itself. Yeah. I don't even really have to speak for him. Yeah. Now, he said, We've had, we have to have our best road game of the year. That's what I'm expecting from us. What would you like him to know about Sunday? Oh, it's going to be a dog fight. You know, it always is. We're going to put our best foot forward, as we know they will. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we'll come prepared, ultimately. And Le'Veon Bell to the Jets? What are the chances of that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't speak on that. Uh, yeah. You know, but shout out to Le'Veon. I hope he's doing well. You know, he's from Columbus. So, uh, yeah. hey, man, shout out from the 614. <laughs> and finally, what are your Thanksgiving plans? Um, having my mom come in. Uh, mom's coming in. She's cooking. She's going to be throwing down in the kitchen. Nice. So I'm going to be eating good this weekend. What's your favorite? Her mac and cheese, collard greens, uh, turkey, uh, for sure. 
Um, she has this nice uh, dessert, a cheesecake brownie. So Ooh, she makes them. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. They're impeccable. Awesome. Good. Well, I'm Danielle McCartan. He's Darren Lee. And good luck on Sunday, and good luck for some Patriots. Thanks so much. Thanks. And we didn't match on purpose. This is like... Yeah, I was like, oh, man. Coordinated. Thanks. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks.